name is Michelle Vinod. I'm from Geneva Secondary School. I am in grade 8. My project is about rainwater harvesting system. My aim is to reduce the water shortages and floods in South Africa or any other country. This project mainly applies in rural areas. So then, the basic is the water will take from the roof to the gutter. The gutter will take the water to the filter paper. And then in my filtration, there are three levels, which is sand, charcoal and fine sand. They will purify the water. Then it will go into the purification, which will chlorine will be added. When chlorine is added, it's safe for our health. Then it will be taken to our storage tank and the water will be released. The reason why I'm purifying it is because rainwater is 100% pure. But then there is dirt and sand and rocks in our, in our gutters. That's why I'm purifying the rainwater again. My whole project is all about carbon reduction. I'm reducing the amount of carbon emissions in the environment. So first, I'm going to use hot water to break up intermolecular process of carbon dioxide, carbon and, or carbon and oxygen. I'm using hot water to break up carbon dioxide intermolecular forces to be carbon and oxygen. Intermolecular forces are forces that, break, that hold the two compounds, oxygen and carbon. They are, they are combined together by intermolecular forces. I'm using water to, to be able to break them, to separate from, to be carbon and oxygen. So, in my prototype, I'm using boiling water, right? So, boiling water will be in this chamber. Here, I'll be trapping the smoke from the factories or dry cleaners. After the smoke has been trapped here, the steam from the hot water tank will come inside and mix up with the carbon dioxide in here. The process of intermolecular process of carbon to be broken up will happen in this tank. So carbon dioxide will be carbon and oxygen only in this tank. After it is carbon, is carbon and oxygen, this motor has a fan drum inside. The fan drum. Yeah. It will push the whole steam back to the back to the tank. And then the carbon will be stored beneath the tank, under the tank. As the, for the oxygen, oxygen will escape as water vapor to the environment. The water vapor, I can store it for drought. If there is a problem of drought, I can store the, the wood from the water vapor. Or I can let it go to the environment. But in here, I want to minimize the electrical cost because nowadays the electricity is expensive. Now, the steam that is, will be generated inside the hot water tank, we'll, I will reverse it to make the turbine speed to create my own electricity for this process. So that the electric, electrical cost is not that much expensive. So how does this work? Hmm? When you are using the steam, you use your own electricity? Yes, I will be using the steam. How? To move the turbine. Yeah. Just like the uh, electrical generators to make electricity, they use turbines to use hot, hot water to move the turbines. After the turbines are, are spinning, they create electricity. That's the process I'm going to use to create my own energy. I want to add to the young scientists and the young researchers which are the future. They must know that science does not know barrier. It does not know gender, it does not know color, it does not know your background. Anything you desire to be, you can be that. And with our science, let us not be selfish with it, but go back and impact our community. For science belongs to the community, start with the human being and it should end with the human race.